learning science. Apart from the traditional five senses mentioned in the last video, we also have cells at different parts of our brain composing the information of where we are. In this video, I'm going to show you how sense of location is important for learning. As we navigate around the space, different cells corresponding to the information at that specific position will be activated. The different information is such as head direction, distance to the wall, position in a 2D vector, distance from the origin, and etc. All these different information given by different cells combined and gives us our location in the 3D space. So, when sense of location and other senses are activated together, a memory network, as described in the last video, is formed. Just by thinking of the location, you could recall other details of it. For example, when you want to draw a face and think of what is at the top, you could recall eyes and the color, shape, and function of it. This could also be applied to understanding concepts like number lines, 2D vectors, biological diagrams, or even mathematical operations. Multiplication and division should be done before addition and subtraction. These directional adjectives are all counted as a type of location information. Okay, so how is this related to learning? Well, apart from spatial system of the concept itself, we also have a space for the concepts. You may see this as how you structure the concepts. Now, you are going to solve this problem. In school, we were taught to convert the values into fraction or decimals and then do the operation. What a new learner does would be try and error. So maybe decimals first? Ah, complicated. Fraction? Okay, a lot easier. But actually, in this case, just simply divide 4 by 4 and then add to the fraction. Get the answer. Our location system can help us preventing the try and error trap by building the structure when we first learn the concepts. For this example, we need to first recognize fraction, percentage, and decimals are interchangeable interpretations of values with their own rule of operation. To deal with problems involving different interpretations, we need to figure out the most efficient way to transform and calculate. After building the structure and encounter the first problem, we need to think of all possibilities and then choose the most efficient one. Even though it may take a longer time initially, with enough practice, the network of this kind of calculation is formed. So you can recall the most efficient way when solving newer problems. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you now catch the idea of how the sense of locations contribute to building structuralized concepts. In the next one, I will show you how to implement these theories into real-life learning situations. Stay tuned.